alert viewers may have noticed that I titled this episode, Damn Paul Brown. Well, there's a reason for that. When my wife and I were younger and we were working on converting this welding shop into a house, project we're, we're still working on, um, and, we, and a lot of our friends were also building houses or, or renovating old buildings or old houses into more livable houses. It was a meme, I guess. I guess you'd call it a meme. That someone would come over, one of your friends would come over and see you midway through a project, take a look at the project, and make an obvious and good suggestion, which you would resist because you already had your head in the way you wanted to do it. But the suggestion was usually so obvious and so good that eventually you had to acknowledge it and change course and do it that way, which, you know, admittedly usually took more money and more time um, and was frustrating, but it's all easy to, it's easy to look at someone else's project and see how they should have done it. When you're in a project, it's hard to get your head out of it enough to uh, understand that you need to change course or to, or to even see an, a good opportunity to change course. So my brother and I were going to put the cheapest, easiest kind of roofing on the saunas. We were just going to cover the barrel of the sauna with a, a, um, some either some corrugated metal or maybe some asphalt shingles, uh, which would have been functional and ugly. And then our mutual friend, Paul Brown, here and after to be known as Damn Paul Brown, said, hey, those are coming out really nicely. You can't cover them with an ugly roof. You're going to put a nice peaked roof on there. So that's what we're doing. And that's why this episode is called Damn Paul Brown. Good morning. We're about to build the changing rooms or start building the changing rooms on the saunas. It's getting really, really full of sauna in my shop. Not sure how we're going to manage to build these things in here. Once we get the changing room built, we can put the roof or roofs on the sauna and drag them out of here, but it's gonna get awful tight before that happens. Fuck. I guess that's okay. Get yourself with a screw? Huh? You get yourself with a screw? No, I just slipped off the screw head. Oh, that really hurts. I've yeah, done that. I know. Well, yeah, and it hurt worse because it was in the place I'd already done that once and cut my hand. <laughs> All right, Lewis. I don't know what. I'm going to toenail these a few more times. Uh, don't worry, I'll get them later. They're, I think they're, they're going to be fine. There's, not gonna be, there's no snow going to stand on. I mean, every one of the joints has a GRK and one or two. It'll be fine. Those are going to, these are going to, these, uh, these guys here. <laughs> These guys are going to stand up here, and those things are going to sit on top of there. Yeah. And uh, four joists per tonnage. Four four studs per wall here. So and two of these, no, just two of those on this on this. Oh, two, yeah, and that's two on the changing, changing room, yeah. and then three on the three on the sauna. Yeah. Um, so. Well, gonna have plenty of weight to it. Fuck. Why don't you take a day off work? We can work on it tomorrow. I can't. Excellent. Well, it wasn't as much progress as I hoped for, but... I know, me either. So here's where we are. There are the two saunas jammed into the shop. Got the trusses for the changing room roofs right there. You can see the deck is built on this sauna here. And, uh... Those studs lying on top there are what's going to frame up the changing room walls. There are cedar shakes that Lewis is going to use on the roof of his sauna. And uh, the studs for his changing room. There's the wood. We've got uh, some 8 inch shiplap pine under there for the siding. 
Got uh, some strapping for the roof. I'm going to do my roof with uh, metal. That's right there. And uh, there's some one inch rough hemlock that Lewis is going to use to sheathe his roof. Hey. How goes it? Good. You didn't make a special trip for screws, I hope. I did not. Okay. But I do have three different varietals. That's fine. <laughs> I like a good varietal screw. Love GRKs. Except for fucking put that in the right place. Other than that, I love GRKs. What's that? I found a pair of vice grips in your yard. You found a pair? Yeah. One of the hundreds of pairs of vice grips I've lost in my life. Exactly. You found? Exactly. This is what I think we should do. Is um, I should continue working on this one. Yeah. If we can get this one roofed by the end of the day, we yep. can just pull it out here and forget about it. We should leave yours in the shop. Yep. You should work on yours until we get to the end of the day. And if I've got this one roofed, then great. You you do all the work. You you know, then that's good. Well, if, I get, if I get bound up at the end here, then we'll take you off of that one and bring you out here to finish the roofing up. Okay. Here's a walk around of where we are this fine March morning. I got the roof on uh, the changing room last night. Did that in the dark because it was gonna rain. And uh, they come around the side here. You'll see that I tarped the barrel. And then coming into the shop, here's Lewis's sauna. He did a good job on his changing room. It's pretty much all framed in. He had to quit earlier than I did.
There's the gable end of Lewis's sauna and uh, occurred to me I have some old glass, quarter inch glass. I figure I can cut some pieces to fit in there. Might make kind of a nice light window for the changing room. Supposedly the trick is to get the glass, the glass clean so you don't have a bunch of dust messing up your cutter. Okay. And the other trick is to go all the way across in a nice smooth motion. Look at that. It's almost like I knew what I was doing, which I know very well I don't. There's about a hundred to one chance that tip won't stay on there. Supposed to do it in one smooth move. Now oh, that's exciting. Oh yeah! Loving it! Huh. Freaking awesome. Here's one of the triangular windows. You can see that I just freehand routed the glass in there, so it's not the best fit, but that's the part that goes against the wall, so you won't really see it anyway. This will be the back side. Do not stand on or above this step. So we'll see how this innovation in curb curve cutting works out. <laughs> 